Welcome. This session is going to be on number sense routines, the start to a great math block. So our focus today is simply going to be understanding the value of starting your math block with a short number sense routine, and also just to justify why we should continue using number talks as one of these number routines. So you probably noticed on your proficiency scales, um, on that first page of the math documents, um, there's a new link that says Number Sense Routines to Begin Math Class. And when you click on that link, you'll see a document that includes an overview along with some number sense routines. So one of the reasons um, that this was added is in well-researched um, math frameworks, if you will, for your math block or a math lesson, it recommends that we start our day with a number sense routine. Um, Jennifer Lamp with um, the math workshop model is one of those situations where she's saying, you know what, starting your math block with this routine is really powerful. Um, you'll also see in these documents that you can find under BPS curriculum tab on the math site, um, we're really encouraging you to think about what will you do um, for your number sense routine at the start of your math block and to include that in your, your planning. So as we think about number sense routines, let's justify the why. Why are they valuable for students? Um, here are the benefits. Um, helps build students' number sense and their procedural fluency. It really promotes that respectful learning community. It's a great way to just step into math. It encourages the use of mental math, um, and it really gets students explaining their thinking while they're using a variety of computational strategies. So there are many benefits. So let's think about um, just that specific number talk routine we've all been trained in, um, the one that we already have in place. Number talks is a powerful number routine that we already have in our tool belt. Um, so we should continue to use this routine. We have the resource um, book by Sherry Parrish, along with fifth grade, you also have the fractions book. And these are great resources. The number strings are there um, for you to utilize, and the strategy information is included. Super helpful. Um, also, another reason we should continue to weave this into our week is Joe Bowler, a researcher out of Stanford, matter of fact, she's worked quite um, extensively with Carol Dweck, who is the growth mindset key researcher. Um, and in an article that she's written um, called Fluency Without Fear, she talks about the best way to learn math facts. And as she gets into the activities that help build that number sense and fact fluency, number talks is one of the best methods for teaching number sense and math facts. So she um, really encourages this. And so if we're wanting to improve um, the learning of math facts, this is one thing we should continue to do, okay? So just a few reminders about number talks. Remember, have kids come together on the carpet, gather together so that it feels um, as though it's a discussion. Also, you will be able to hear student thinking and see student thinking. So as you watch them solve the problem you pose, and as you perhaps give them a chance to do a quick pair share, you're going to listen in and hear some valuable information regarding their strategies. And remember, we have the hand gestures. Their fist is up to their chest. Their brain is ready to grow and think. And as they have a strategy, they put up a thumb. If they have more than one way, another. And then remember that agree sign to show that, yes, I agree with your strategy. So as we begin to move um, into other number routines, just a, a friendly reminder to continue using the one we know already, um, and that is strongly supported by the research. All right, and just keep in mind that under Math Discourse on our BPS Math site, you can find some Number Talk resources that might be valuable to you, um, including the um, initial presentation for number talks and the follow-up number talks you will find on that page, okay? And so, as we kind of close for today, um, number sense routines. We're gonna start our math block with that. Um, it's a part of our curriculum, and you're gonna implement that three to five times a week. 
five to 15 minutes a day, okay? Ideally, starting every day with a short number sense routine is recommended, but you can remember that when we started with our number talk specific routine, um, these were those expectations. So continue on with that expectation. Um, if you are comfortable, go ahead and weave in other routines you know about. But just know that in our future, um, throughout this first trimester, you will be hearing more about, hmm, how do we, how do we do a what does not belong? And what are these true false equations? So just know that we'll support you with that so that you can start to weave those in as you learn more about them or feel comfortable. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're extremely busy. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.